Hi, I'm uh, Sindre from netport.com. So I want us to create a database program in Java. Uh, here is a coffee menu. So I want to have all of these items or products uh, stored in a database table with the prices. So I want the manager of the coffee menu store to be able to insert uh, products uh, to and to change the prices and to get uh, different products out of the table. So let's just start by uh, creating a database for this uh, coffee menu. So I have installed PG Admin 4 and if you don't have uh, a database then you can go to my website netpo.com and follow the Java PostgreSQL database solution tutorial. This will allow you to install uh, PostgreSQL on your Windows machine. Of course you can also use uh, MySQL or other database solutions if you have that available. They are very similar to each other uh, but pgadmin is a really really uh, great database that's also open source. Okay, pgadmin it's started now and this is the PG admin control panel. Just click on service and PostgreSQL and database and right click here and create the database. So uh, the coffee uh, database will be called coffee corner and this is because our database uh, now our program will be called coffee corner. So save that Okay, now it's saved. Right click on uh, databases and click refresh and here you see coffee corner. So let's head over to IntelliJ. We now want to create a new project in IntelliJ. So when, once you have installed IntelliJ, this is the main screen and you just click create new project. You click uh, Java project and next and I click the create table from the uh, template and command line app. The project name will be coffee corner and the base package will become netport.coffeecorner and here is your uh, domain.com and the subdomain. So just click finish here and the project is now created. Let's start by creating a system out print LN and this will uh, print some uh, text to the screen that shows that the program is working. System out print and we want the LN to have a line uh, break. Welcome to Coffee Corner. Okay, let's run this program. So just click the, the run here to run the program and you can see the text is welcome to Coffee Corner. Very good. Now what we want to do now is to connect our Java program to an PostgreSQL database. Our program is working very good. We can now write the system out print Allen. Welcome to Coffee Corner. The next step is to connect to our database. Okay. In order to be able to connect to our database, we need the driver for the database. So if you click on external drive libraries, you will see 10, which is, which is the Java version. And here we will add the driver. I just head over to my website netport.com, click on uh, Java, uh, scroll down to connect to Java to PostgreSQL database, and down 
here we have the Postgres SQL database driver. Just save that. Just create a new folder and name it install. Save it to install. Open the location. Extract the files. Okay, so the driver is now here. It's a jar file. Open IntelliJ again and click uh, File, Project Structures. Uh, go to Libraries and click the green plus. Uh, select Java and select your user folder and install. And select the Postgre uh, jar file. Click OK and then click OK again when uh, it uh, asks you to choose the modules and then OK again and then if you see here on external libraries we now have the PostgreSQL uh, driver so if you just uh, expand this you can see that it's uh, just uh, uh, some classes for connecting to the PostgreSQL and doing uh, queries against it so let's uh, connect to, to it. Uh, what I want to do is to create a uh, class that holds the connection to PostgreSQL. And I want to make that class in a package named DAO. So to make a new package, right click on your project package, click new package and name it DAO. And on DAO, right click new Java class, and our database uh, connector will be called DB adapter. Okay, it should be something like that public class DB adapter. First, we need the variables to connect to the database. So I'll just make a comment here that we are going to state the variables. Number one, variables. Uh, we need the uh, DDBC URL. DDBC URL. And it is GDBC column post gray uh, SQL column slash slash localhost column uh, 5432 slash. And now you need the database name. In order to find it, just go to PG Admin form and click on server, click on PostgreSQL, click on databases, and this is Coffee Corner. So this is the database name. Coffee Corner here. Yeah, let's write it. Coffee Corner. Okay, and the sentence. Now we have the JDBC URL. Next we need the username. It's also a string. Username. Post address is the username. And how did I know it's Postgres? Yeah, if you go back to PG Admin, click on Login Group Roles, you can see here that we have the user Postgres. And right click and click Properties. And if you click definition, you can also set the password. Okay, string username, Postgres, then we need a password, string password, and it's Postgre for my case now. And as I said, just go to PG Admin to set the password. Okay, next we need the database variables. Just make a new comment. Zero to database variables. We need something that holds the connection, and we need something that holds the statement, and we need something that holds the result set. So we will come back to these three, we, or we are going to use these three uh, database variables very often uh, when we implement uh, the functions to the database, as an example, write to the database or read from the database. So let's just make a connection. It's the connection class, and let's call the variable con, 
and let's name it null or give assign it to null. So uh, hover connection and press Alt Enter and import Java SQL. And next, next we need a statement, uh, and the statement we will call stmt. So statement stmt equals null. And alt. so it also uses the Java SQL, so we can actually just import everything. So just uh, go here and write the star and we will get everything from java.sql uh, next is a result set and we will name it rs result set rs equals null ok now we have the database variables now we can make it a constructor so o3 constructor insert and constructor and ok and just remove this let's just make a blank constructor like this ok now we can actually connect to the database now the really cool thing starts so a public void connect Uh, we need to assign uh, or in the connect we need to assign the connection variable so con equals uh, driver manager which is also in the SQL uh, class dot get connection and we want to use this third method URL user password and URL is gdpc URL username and password so this is the connect to this list and now we can print oh so you see everything gets read because and it says unhandled exception Java SQL SQL exception so just click alt enter and surround with try catch Here it says e.print stack trace. So inside the try, it tries to connect, connect, or it prints the error. So let's print out uh, uh, something saying that the connection was okay. System out print ln database connection established. Difficult word to write established like this, yeah. Data base connection established. Okay, so now we have written the connect method. Connect to database. And let's write the disconnect from database. Public void disconnect. So the disconnect is uh, uh, a bit uh, different from the connect. Uh, we need to uh, take care of these three variables. So let's just start with uh, the statement. So I just want to write if the statement is not null, then we need to close it. Same with the result set, then same with the uh, connection. And I run this uh, with a try catch. So I just start with try and then catch, and then I will catch exceptions of E, and then I will print the stack. Okay, so try to.
close uh, SM STMT first. If uh, SM ST is not null, oh, difficult to write that. Then STMT dot close. Okay, and then the same for result set. If uh, RS is not null, RS dot cross, and then the connection itself. If uh, connection is not null, then close the connection. Okay, so this is disconnect, and let's just make a comment here. Just write disconnect from database. So let's try to use this uh, DB adapter. So go go to main and let's connect to the database. So I'll just write a comment that we are going to connect. So in order to do this, we will uh, create an instance of DB adapter. So just write DB adapter DB adapter equals new DB adapter. And then we can connect by, by writing db adapter dot connect, and then we can disconnect by writing db adapter dot disconnect. So I click the green run button here to run it. And it says database connection established. And then we disconnect it. So it looks uh, good now. We have actually made a connection to the database, and we can now start to do something with the database.